Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 33rd tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have created two pages of basic report, which is sales analysis and details. And in today's class, we will add one more page here, where we will discuss some basic DAX function and put it into visualization. So let's get started. Firstly, I will add one more page here. And this time our requirement is we want to visualize the sales of previous month only. So we need to add one time intelligence DAX function here to calculate the sales of previous month. So here I will take one measure here, guys. And our measure name is parallel period. This measure helps us to comparison the sales of previous month with current month. Or you can also calculate the sales of previous year with current year or previous quarter with current quarter. So we will use this parallel period DAX function with calculate. So firstly, I will write here calculate function. And under calculate function, our first parameter is expression. So I have created one measure here, which name is total sales. So I'll put it here total sales in expressions. Now I will use this parallel period function. So I am writing parallel period here and in parallel period, we have three parameters guys. So the first parameter is date. So we have a calendar table here guys and in calendar table, we have a date field. So I'll take here date here. Comma. Now it's asking for the number of intervals. So we want to compare the sales of previous month. So I'll put it here minus one, which is previous month. Now the third parameter is interval. So it is asking for the month, quarter or year. So we want to compare month wise sale. So I'll put it here month and close the bracket. So we guys have created this measure, which name is parallel period. So firstly, I'll take this table visual to make you understand this concept better. So in table visual, I will drop and drag here date hierarchy, which is from the calendar table. So I want only month. So I'll remove this year, quarter and day. And now I'll drop and drag the sales. So we have created the total sales measure here. So I am drag and dropping here. And now I drag and drop my parallel period measure. And with the help of parallel period, you guys can see the previous month sales and the current month sale. So we guys can compare the sales with the help of parallel period. So let me remove this visual. And let me put into the graph visual so that you guys can understand the things in a better way. So I am taking here clustered column chart and let me resize it. And again, I'm drag and drop the date hierarchy. And I will remove this year, quarter, and day because I want only month. And now I'll drop and drag my total sales measure here. So in this diagram, we can see we have a January, February and March. And now I will drag parallel period measure here. And let me enable the data labels. So now we guys can see we can easily compare the sales of last month with current month. In January, we have sold out 50K and in February, we have sold out 28K. So we can compare easily. The blue line represent the previous month sale and the sky blue line represent the current month sale. So we can easily compare with the current month with previous month. So this parallel period X function is really useful for comparison of previous year sales, previous quarter sales, previous month sale or previous day sales. So according to our requirement, you guys can use this parallel period X function. So now this time I will make comparison with quarter wise quarter. So with the help of same DAX function, we can compare quarter wise quarter. So again, I'm following the same steps guys. Firstly, I'll copy this measure here.
and I am creating one more measure here, which name is quarter y quarter. So let me paste the measure here, and here our measure name is quarter. And what I do, I just simply remove this month from here, and this time our interval is quarter, and close the bracket. So again, I am taking the uh, same visualization with this cluster column chart. And this time I'll take the date hierarchy and remove month, year and day because we want to compare the quarter wise quarter sales. And we have already created this measure with this total sales. So I'll brag and drop here and our second measure name is quarter. So I'll drop and drag here. So we guys can see the total sales of quarter one and quarter two. And let me enable the data labels. So in this data set, we have only one quarter, which is start from Jan and end from March. So it will displaying the same sales. But if we have more than one quarter, so it will reflecting the correct comparison. So I am renaming this page as a comparison. So in this way guys, we can create multiple pages in our report with the help of various DAX functions. So I hope guys you have cleared with the concept of parallel period. And we have created three pages in our report which is sales analysis, details and where we have created quantity wise comparison. And the last one is comparison where we have created quarter by quarter and month by month. And from next class guys, we will learn about more features of report building. And we will learn basic formatting that we can make our report more attractive. So stay tuned with us guys and please support this channel. And kindly share with those who really want to learn Power BI from scratch. And if anyone wants separate personal training, so you guys can connect me on LinkedIn for paid personal training. We have two module guys. In the first module, we have full Power BI full course training. And in the second module, we have interview based, scenario based questions and answer. And we have theoretical stuff, which is mostly asked in an interview. So if you guys interested for the paid personal training in any of the module, so you guys can directly connect me on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn link is given under the description box. And for free learning guys, we have this YouTube channel. You guys can learn free from here. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you so much.